Hey everybody, it's me Bryson Booker. I'm here in my basement. I call it B's Place. I come to just hang out and chill and play games like this. And today I have the Powerpuff Girls Relish Rampage. Released in 2003 by Cartoon Network and BAM Entertainment. BAM Entertainment did most of Cartoon Network's video games when they were released. So, um... This game has a theme to it, sort of, kind of. Okay, there's multiple themes to it. Mojo Jojo has sent out radio head devices to all his little enemies and everything, and, of course, Mojo Jojo tries to take over the world. While that's going on, there's these relish people, as you can see in the photo here, that also come out of nowhere and start turning everybody into pickles and send this pickle smell everywhere and this pickle vapor that tries to kill the Powerpuff Girls, and, well, they also want to take over the world. I really don't know what the pickle people want to do, but they call it Relish Rampage for a reason, I guess. The main villain here is Mojo, of course. The main villain is Mojo. And then you got this uh, big, long description of the game, which I basically just summed up to you in just like a minute or so. But you also get some of the other uh, villains from the Powerpuff Girls universe, including the gang Green Gang, uh, you know, him, uh, Princess Moneybags, or whatever. I think that's her name, Princess Moneybags. Um, but other villains from the universe also make an appearance in this game. So, um, this, this game is a mission-based game. Uh, the majority of things that you do in this game is a mission. So whether it be collecting all the money bags that Princess dropped all over the place, or helping the mayor get his pickle jar open, or pickle jar back, whatever happens there, um, they're basically missions. Are returning all of the ballots to the mayor before Mojo gets his hands on the um, voting ballots for mayor. Uh, basically, they're just missions. So, you run around flying as the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, you can choose, swap between each girl, of course, Blossom, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. All girls are playable and accessible um, at all times. And you also collect power-ups for each girl. Each girl has its spe their own special move that when you collect three bottles of Chemical X, you can release that move and it'll... Um, Cause a big shalong a bang a bling ding dong on the enemies. That was a made up word, by the way. And uh, keeps you going. Um, there's a lot of unlockable moves on this game. Um, there's a lot of unlockable special features, clips from the show, clips from the game itself, things like that you can unlock. And of course, you can unlock different moves and power ups, which makes the game uh, replayable. So, when you get done beating it, if you didn't unlock everything the first time, which you most likely will, I mean, some of the stuff you have to unlock to do the things that you can uh, do in this game, to unlock other missions and things like that. But, if you haven't unlocked everything, you can replay it, unlock all the power-ups, and that's something else that you can complete um, if you completed the main game itself. Um, let me see um, if, if I'm missing anything. Uh, if you do manage to die <laughs> as one of the Powerpuff Girls, uh, you basically restart the mission, not the whole level, which is a pretty good thing. So the mission that you were on, you just restart. Unlike some games, you have to restart the whole level. And um, you're on a level for quite a while doing missions. So the first level is basically Townsville. And so you're walking around Townsville completing different missions and helping people and things like that. And you're in Townsville for a good chunk of about, I would say, 30 minutes doing missions. It, it depends on, on, on how fast you can complete the game. It really does. It depends on how fast you can get the missions done without redoing them. And, I mean, if you're that good at it, you're probably going to get done with the level in about 20 minutes or so. The first level is, of course, easy because it's just easy stuff you're doing. The second and third levels kind of gets harder. The challenge gets, the challenges get more harder. Um, they're still in the Townsville area, believe it or not. 
but they start to get harder, and this is where one of my complaints come in. Some missions, like you're collecting jewels and bringing them back to the bank, have short time limits. And Townsville, in this game, is huge. They advertise it on the back as a big, huge 3D landscape of Townsville. Well, that's all fine and good, but you have to memorize that big, giant 3D landscape of Townsville to complete most of the missions in this game. Now, I gotta admit, the first level is easy, but once you keep moving up levels, you're gonna have to start re remembering where places are, remembering where things are supposed to be, and that causes you to do challenges multiple times instead of once. So it may take you a little bit longer to complete the game, because you basically have to remember what, what, what uh, thing of jewels is where in Townsville. So it does get hard, guys. And you only have two minutes to collect five jewel things and bring them back to the bank. You have to pick the jewel up, you have to go fly through Townsville, you have to put it back at the bank, then you have to go out and get the other jewel and pick that up and bring it back. And it gets repetitive and you have to mem memorize where those five jewel things are in order to actually complete the game in the amount of time that you have, or complete the mission, I should say. I should say, in the amount of time you have. And it does get tiresome at points, or it starts to make you rage a little bit because you're like, wait a minute, where am I going? And then Blossom runs into a wall, and then you're like, uh, okay, what am I doing? The controls kind of get a little ridiculous, but uh, the girls are controllable. There's not much camera movement, considering that you're in the air half of the time, but you can also uh, speed run, I guess you could call it, on the ground as the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, I also really don't, one thing that I don't like on this game also is the, um, some of the hit detection. So when Blossom uses her laser eyes, uh, to shoot enemies, sometimes I could be aiming right at the enemy and her eyes go somewhere else. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And that gives the enemy like a free hit with the, the little mind control ray. And it's like, dang it, I just hit you, but then the lasers went somewhere else. So the hit detection is kind of off. And also, when you punch and kick, don't punch and kick on this game, because it's, it's basically useless. I mean, it does help you in the toughest situations when your other power-ups don't work or miss because of that dumb hit detection. But try not to punch and kick, because it's basically useless in some situations when you're battling enemies or doing challenges that require you beating up people. It kind of gets a little ridiculous. All in all, though, I, if I had to give this game a rating, I would probably give it maybe a 7 out of 10. And yes, you can disagree with me if you want. It's my opinion. Why? Because, well, you get it's you have to remember the levels, and it kind of gets confusing of where you left off or where you have to be with the specific items that you're carrying to the uh, places that they want you to, if that makes sense. And then the hit detection is kind of off in some areas. The story is alright for a Powerpuff Girls game. Um, I would have liked it if they would have scratched Mojo and maybe try to choose a different enemy in the, or heck, a whole entirely new enemy in this world instead of Mojo and the Pickle People. I mean, you could have came up with something better than that. But heck, it was better than the movie. Better plot than the movie. <laughs> so, I mean, for a collector, I would pick it up, give it a try. And if you can't get your hands on the other Powerpuff Girl video games, it's a pretty good collectible for you also. So, it's the Powerpuff Girls Relish Rampage, released in 2003 by BAM Video Games, along with Cartoon Network. So, pick it up. It's a great game. See you guys later.